Hey there, welcome back to Reddit Dating, the best channel for Reddit cheating stories. Be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification for more stories like these. Now, let's get into the video. When my girlfriend cheated on me, I devised a plot of vengeance. My girlfriend, 22F, now X, admitted to me, 24M, that she had been talking to someone else on Instagram and had felt attracted to him, but she felt bad and regretted it. Why? You're probably scratching your head, wondering what occurred. Well, I have an extraordinary ability to detect deception, and this was the most ridiculous piece of rubbish I'd ever heard in my life. The fact that she felt awful for just speaking did not appear to be typical of her. She had been aloof since the beginning of the relationship. Because I was too close to her, I tried to put it aside and concentrate on my work, but something wasn't quite right, and I could still sense something was wrong. The paranoia was consuming me from the inside out. Our relationship deteriorated during the next few weeks. Despite the fact that she had few acquaintances, she had been surprisingly gregarious, going out with a variety of them, or so she claimed. With this knowledge, I was able to conclude that she had only told me half the truth and that she had continued her criminal activities. The reason why someone would only half confess something in order to continue doing it has eluded me to this day. The relationship was pretty much dead in every manner, and I had counseled her to stop it since I didn't see any use in prolonging it. However, she persisted in trying because I had found her a good job and she was making excellent progress as a result of my friend's encouragement. When I realized that this was her motivation for continuing, I felt something break inside of me. Through unbearably similar situations, career disappointments, and personal betrayals from her friends, I had been at her side through it all. I gave her everything I had all of the time, and she was grateful. I lived only for the purpose of bringing her happiness. But in reality, she was living on my dime and keeping me in the dark about her whereabouts. As the idiot that I was, I began plotting my icy cold retribution in the hushed confines of my own home. I attempted to contact a random female, Jay, who provided me with her phone number months before these occurrences, but I was unable to do so because I was steadfast. My explanation for why I hadn't called was accepted by her. We hardly exchanged pleasantries on our first date, but she surprised me by kissing me at the end of it. It made me feel uneasy and guilty at the same time. I waited for my girlfriend to come out of the shower the next morning and snooped through her emails and other correspondence. I discovered what I had suspected for weeks, she had kept the show running, and it had reached incredible heights. In addition to going out multiple times per week and sending pictures constantly, I also did so while I was with her at other times. When we first met, I spent hours copying and pasting related messages she had sent to me even posing for him in the outfit that my parents had given her as a Christmas present. My sense of remorse had been thrown out the window. I was able to keep myself from freaking out and exposing her to the world. This instilled in me the confidence and blind hatred I required, and I phoned Jay again that night, carrying out my plan in the most brilliantly rage-fueled manner I could think of. As a result, I continued this pattern for around two months, having with Jay whenever and wherever possible while maintaining the appearance of a normal boyfriend to the rest of the world. My girlfriend came over one night, and we proceeded to further screw her while focused on the hatred in my thoughts. On other days, I would stay up all night in order to see her and her even more the next morning. Following that, I often left out minor hints of skepticism in her direction in order to make her feel anxious and guilty about the situation. My relationship with my girlfriend came to an end after discovering her lies, but I maintained my moral superiority over her by keeping my secrets from her. Even after I presented her with the facts, she continued to deny everything. She had been depressed for days following their reconciliation. Because of this passage, I felt as though all had been for naught and that I had never completely received closure. Jay became more at ease in my presence, but I was already engrossed in the whole story of this plot. I couldn't handle the thought of dating anybody else at this time, so I had to call a halt to our relationship as well as our friendship. The following months passed, and the lady whom my ex loathed the most, since she was highly popular with common male friends, happened to come to work with me, much to my surprise. Wuppen got close, but it was never anything more than a casual relationship. Even though my ex-girlfriend had found out and texted me to confirm it, she was still hurting from our breakup. 
Instead of answering, I traveled to her home to personally inform her of the situation and witnessed her crumble in front of me. Edit, all of this nonsense did nothing but mess with my head, her cheating gave me fear about other people betraying me, but what I did demonstrated that I too, was a jerk like no other. Since realizing this, my attitude about women and relationships has changed dramatically, I would never do something like this again, but it had to happen for me to learn and see the consequences of letting oneself go with wrath and hatred. It merely causes discomfort and does not promote recovery. Edit 2. For those who feel sorry for Jay, I only chose her as my accomplice since she was in a relationship at the time she gave me her phone number and thus was attempting to cheat. In essence, I thought I was doing justice in more than one name. Nonetheless, I feel awful for her, she didn't deserve to be caught in my garbage and abused in this manner. She was the only one with the foresight to remain a ghost indefinitely. I embrace your contempt with open arms. My mother cheated on my father. My mother was just discovered to have cheated on my father with her current spouse. My parents divorced when I was four years old. They had two children, my older sister and myself. My father had stated in passing that she had strayed with her now husband while I was in high school, but I was a teenager at the time and didn't give much mind because I didn't understand much about adultery. My father died a few years ago when I was 28 years old. He was unable to find a suitable replacement for my mom. In actuality, despite the fact that my father owned his own business and adored my sister and me, he looked to be in a state of bewilderment. I didn't realize how incorrect I was until this year, when I discovered he was having an affair. My mother used to make disparaging remarks about my father when I was growing up, stating that he was abusive. She also married her current husband the same year my parents separated, but I was too young to realize what was going on. Anyway, I'm just really sad for my father right now. He wasn't as lost as I had believed, or perhaps he was lost as a result of my mother's adultery, one of the consequences. What he was, in reality, was a man wandering around with a shattered heart. That genuinely frightens me. He also admitted before his death that he ruined my marriage, with tears running down his cheeks. I should have recognized what was happening sooner, but I didn't. The source of all the slander was my mother, not him. In truth, he addressed her as your mother, but she only acknowledged him by his first name, and she addressed her now husband as your father while addressing my sister and me. What a messed up predicament we've got. I should have known what I was getting myself into. I wish I could hug my father and tell him it wasn't his fault, that cheating is selfish, and that if she wasn't happy with him, she could have just left without having to sleep with another man. I've been fooled in the past, and I know how awful it can be. I'll never understand why somebody would do such a cruel thing to someone they claim to love, no matter how hard I try. In terms of how I view her, and how I feel about her, my mother will never be the same to me again. The same might be said of her husband. He moved in with my mother and played a hand in my father's and now my own deaths. I don't want to have anything to do with either of them. They have no idea how I found out, and I have no plans to tell them. It is not their problem that they are aware of my desire to separate myself from them in the future. I'm writing this down since I'm not supposed to tell anyone else. To inform you all, infidelity harms your children's hearts as well. My father was my best friend, and I miss him terribly on a daily basis. Now I know he was the most physically powerful man I'd ever met. He kept my sister and me's pain buried for the remainder of our lives, and he never tried to retaliate against us. My mother and her husband, on the other hand, have been carrying a dark secret and professing to be soulmates. No, they are not soulmates in my opinion, instead, they are terrible people. My father may never have found love, but I admired him and will always see him as a hero. She had the strongest heart I'd ever seen, and I didn't even realize it at the time. Second edit, I'd want to thank everyone who has taken the time to remark and assist me. I'll provide an update as soon as I have one. I've looked over all of the comments and sorry for not being able to react to everyone. Thank you one more.